Nine out of the ten poorest states are from the north. Poverty is the major cause of banditry. Peter B, welcome to the news and please subscribe to our channel. The presidential candidate of Labour Party, Peter Gregory B, has said that nine out of the ten poorest states in Nigeria are from the north. He said this today while responding to a question asked by Dr. Ruben Abati when he was interviewed on the Rise News. Dr. Ruben Abati asked Peter B how he intends to tackle insecurity in the north, knowing fully well that bandits and terrorists have taken over some northern state. Responding to this question, Peter B said that the major cause of banditry in the north is poverty and that if these terrorists can be engaged with something else, they will definitely drop their guns and do other productive things. Peter B said that nine out of the ten poorest state in Nigeria are from the north, and that if the poor, if the people can be taken out of poverty, the state of security will prove the end region. Peter B says country like Jamaica used to spot, use spots to take people out of poverty, and if he is given the mandate to lead as president, he will devise means to bring them out of poverty so that the rate of criminal activities in the region can reduce. Well, uh, there's a saying that goes. Um, uh, I, I, I kind of, to an extent, a little, there are people will be say if you engage them more. Now, uh, what I'm about to say, <laughs> I don't know how to create this scenario, but we have seen places or we have seen things where people who were into criminal lives, eh, they were given opportunity and they did not blow it. Like people expected them to blow it. Then, and on a few occasions, you have seen the children saying that because things are so bad for some people, now make them fall. But you born, you get people where you say, what's your one in a genuine? It is in their blood. Ah, I'm telling you. Just like we have someone who is comfortable, but he still is still. Like, what you go call that one? You're from waiting, you're not waiting. <laughs> you're in a medical condition, I be good. But like I said, it's true. And the thing is, apart from poverty, they are weaponizing poverty. You know, it is it is it is a different thing. Say something they did. It can't be a different thing. Say that poverty in the weaponizer. The people in the northern region, they are not open minded. The elites know they give them breathing space. Say they know say there is more to life. They believe say they are being you know that they treat them. They purposely treat. I, I don't see the elites play a big role here. Peter be now the allies now you go talk to you understand. And then get the and then if it reach these people. And they tell you. Because how can a particular religion see civilization as you know satanic? I know that there are some parts of civilization, civilization where it's a very, very modest dressing and all that. But for goodness sakes, ha ah, it is beyond poverty. Illy trace you follow my 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 my, my, my dear a eh, 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 presidential candidate. To be sincere, illiteracy follow. Yes, so poverty follow. Illiteracy and the thing is, let the nothing in line stop weaponizing poverty. Okay. The Almadri's broth bring up, bring up in the north have made them compatible with poverty. They don't know what life is all about. And that is why they have no value for their life. Very, very true. You have to work, even if you put them forward, things better. You have to work on their mindset. You have to, they have to have a therapist, you know, put them to teach them and teach them so that they will unlearn, 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 and learn, and learn, and relearn before they were going to agree with you. <laughs> Let them remain like that because a lot of them and the leaders love it that way. Well, uh, it's not true. It is true that in this their state, it will feel that, you know, the leaders will make them understand. If somebody is trying to bring, uh, what's it called, to bring, uh, to bring um, education to that place, it is true that they will fight against it. But if they, like this, like I said, if they work on their mindset, huh, gradually, they'll consciously say, truly, poverty is being weaponized. And, of course, civilization does not really mean that you can, you can turn, you know, bad. They'll not show them the good or the advantages of you know of you know of being open minded uh, seeing things from another angle accepting that there is more to life with that they're going to gradually now learn other ways apart from the criminal activities so i agree to an extent okay on this note we've come to the end of the news we say thank you for turning in to listen until i come your way next time enjoy the rest of your day